Greetings traders. It is Wednesday, April 18th, 2018. And the news is going to come out in 12 minutes, 7.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I am going to take a trade. I'm going to take what's what I call a Newsday entry, which is the code applied to the Newsday. And um, this one should be a fairly easy entry. It usually always is. Uh, sometimes it's not dull. It can get a little tricky sometimes, but uh, there's a contingency plan for that. You can use the breakout technique if it gets a little squirrely on you. And um, that usually always works. So I'm going to take that trade and I'll be back uh, to take it. And by the way, this trade, of course, like all the trades you see me taking, are called out in advance in my charting service showing what the code is and I showed what the code is for today in my charting and uh, all my charting members should be taking the same tr same basic trade I'm gonna take and uh, so I'll be right so I'll be back shortly okay the news just came out there 15 seconds ago shut up oh shut up to him 67 67 74 up to 68 not a big move but uh, no, I'm just waiting for the code to give me a direction. And as soon as it does, I'll come back and uh, show you the entry. It's uh, over 100 ticks up right there. You know, it's funny, I'm, I'm watching uh, oil course trade, and I'm watching the stock market trade too, and i got all kinds of stocks I'm watching. And, um, you know, even to this day, oil moves, fa moves a lot more than stocks too. I mean, but you have a lot of stocks that you can play, though, and get, you know, a little bit here and a little bit there off of each one. But it takes a lot of work to play them all. And uh, this is uh, so simple in comparison. Yeah, it's really amazing. Um, I've been doing this for so long. And then I went back to trading stocks, too, and realized <laughs> how, how easy I have it, trading oil. Trading stocks is... Um, it's good, you know, I do like it, but it's a lot more work, that's for sure. It takes, takes a lot of effort to, to trade them and do it every day. And Anyway, uh, still waiting for the code to give me an entry, long or short, and I will take the position. You know, see, when I, when I think about it, you know, it's like, man, you know, I know the code. I, can, I know which direction this thing's going to go. I mean, I have a method I can use, the code that's going to tell me. You know, since it's controlled by a computer, it's not really trading. Uh, it's like, uh, boy, there's a huge storm out there. Hope I don't get kicked offline. You know, it's just so much easier. What I do like about stocks, though, is it's much more of a challenge. You know, you have a lot of, it's not, it's not very easy. You don't know for sure which way it's going to go. So it's m much more of a challenge to uh, trade it, which I like. But at the same time, I'm very kind of, um, you know, amazed that I can trade oil so so much easier with the code. And um, anyway, I'll come back. Uh, I think the code's going to give me an entry here. I think it's going to be a short entry too, but we'll see. By the way, if I do get a short entry here, I am going to go for a lot of ticks. I'm going to go for about uh, maybe 80 ticks or so should be an easy day once I take entry it's gonna drop out and uh, go go way down it won't probably won't take that long maybe a half hour or so maybe an hour at the most and then I'll be out um, I've seen this code before be back. and just for you code traders out there uh, let's bring up the um, let's bring up the daily okay daily chart what's gonna happen most likely it, assuming it gives a short entry might give a long entry, but I, I doubt it. Uh, this will come all the way back down. Probably even go red. So it's going to come all the way down and make a red bar. Huge line. So we'll see if it gives a, a short entry, though. If it gives a long entry, mm, I don't know what it's going to do. I don't know how, wh how far up it will go. Uh, it doesn't usually do that. So, not on this code anyway. Okay, I've taken the short position here. I'll be right back. 
Okay, I've got the exit at 60 ticks. Down here at 67.54. Um, like I said, it's just going to drop out. I'll take a look at it on the 10 minute. So, all of you charting members, you should be in this trade. I called it out in advance. This is going to be an easy day. I'm just going to go for 60 ticks. I want to get out pretty quick. I am trading stocks too right now. I've uh, gone short on TWTR, made uh, 30 ticks on that one. I went short on AMAT, made uh, 50 ticks on that one. Um, and I'm watching some more. By the way, if you want a good uh, a stock that you might want to take an investment in, CNET looks pretty good to me. It's a Chinese stock. It's a, it's a Chinese company, I should say. And uh, actually, I'm not sure if it's a Chinese company or actually, I think it is. Yeah, it's a Chinese company, and um, it's it looks pretty good. I mean, I've been watching it now, taking some trades on it. It's uh, it's pretty good. It just keeps moving up. And um, long term, though, this is a long term type of thing. See, when you know the, the code and you come into my, let me just tell you what most people are doing, okay? I mean, I, I, I made the videos up so that you could learn how to do it yourself, and some people do, but most everyone's coming into my charting service and just following the trade. So I guess that's, that's the best and easiest way and what I recommend doing. Just learn the code too. You should learn the code one too so that you can know how it works and then learn the code too, and then come into the charting and just take the trade every day. The same trade that I'm taking. Starting to move against me a little bit. I have a 10 tick stop on this. If the stop gets, I'll use the breakout technique. By the way, I did explain the breakout technique today in my charting service. So, um, for those of you who are using it, I will tell you when you are going to enter. Be right back. Okay, if you're using the breakout technique, you would have just shorted there, and uh, you'd be in a short position now. This is the breakout technique that I taught how to do, um, but I took the exact code. Market data connection lost. I don't know. Market data connection reestablished. I don't know if you're hearing that. It's coming from interactive brokers. Anyway, um... So for all of you charting members, you should be in this trade short. If you took the exact code I called, you took it exactly when I did. If you trade played the, the break, uh, breakout technique, you're now short. And uh, this one should be good for quite a bit. Uh, I'm, I'm only going to go for 60, but I think this one's probably going to be good for... Uh, let's bring up the daily again. Um, I would say, let me take a look, 694. I would say it's going to be good down to at least 67.20, at least that. It could come all the way down to below this bar here, at 60, 66.54. It could come down all, all the way there. But we should be able, I should be able to get easy 60 ticks off this trade, no problem. So, you know, there's no comparison when you know when you know the code, that's for sure. And um, I, mean, I think I'm getting close to my exit, am I? Oh, we still got a ways to go. We make it down to 54. That's what way down here. So you see, I'm riding it from here all the way down to 54 for a nice 60 tick trade. All by what? Knowing the code. To all of you out there who just started listening to me, or whatever, don't let anybody fool you. I guarantee, I 100% guarantee you, there is in fact a code. And um, you know, there's a lot of people out there that don't want people to know about that, but uh, I don't care. I'm here to teach people the code and give them the opportunity to make money with it. And um, anyway, I'm going to come back and I will show you the progression or at least the outcome of this trade but I serious I don't think it's going to take very much longer for it to get to my exit okay getting kind of close to the exit here no I probably could get like about uh, 6720 out of this but 
uh, I'm just going to take the 60 ticks. See, if I go for the 67, 20, I'm going to have to wait a lot longer. I don't feel like it bouncing all the way back up on me, but uh, it'll go down. The code is always right. This is kind of a bummer, though. This thing made it down to 65 right there. 66. And my exit is at 54. So came 12 ticks away. <laughs> Oh well. It'll come back down, go and break, and hit my exit. And now it's just a matter of time. I believe I told all of you in the charting to go for 40 ticks off the code, and if you did, using the exact code, you'd already be out right now. You'd be out when it came down here. Yeah, it went 50 ticks, so... I would imagine a lot of you are already out. The reason why I switched my exit to 60 was because of the move that it made, and I believe that I can get it. I came really close down here, and I still think I can get it. I uh, just want to see it, you know, start to uh, really start moving down. It's kind of playing a game right now, but at some point it should start to really move down here. And then it's going to die out like it always does, so I need to hit the exit here pretty soon. Like, let's say, within... I'd like to see it do it within 40 minutes. 40 more minutes. I'll come back. This thing sure is taking its time coming down, <laughs> that's for sure. I wish it would have got me out earlier. 12 ticks away, I would have made it. Oh well. Anyway, I'll be back. It'll make it. Actually, it might not make it, but what should happen is it should come down to the bottom of where it was. So, uh,. Let's go take a look at the one minute. We can see it easier. Um, <coughs> the bottom down here at uh, 66, it should come down to that level again. Maybe break below or maybe come back down and start to bounce back up and just level out a bit. Uh, but it should come down to the bottom of the range, which will give me a chance to get out. Now, if at some point here, all of a sudden it just starts to shoot down like this, shoot down, then, and it makes makes the distance between here and here fairly quickly, not too long, like maybe five minutes or something, then I will go for more than the 60 ticks, because it will come down, break, and go much lower, if it does that. Okay, it's starting to make its move down here. We'll see how fast it wants to come. If it drops pretty good all the way down to the bottom down here, I'm going to go for a bit more. I'm going for 60 now. I'll probably go for at least 70, maybe even 80. Uh, should be able to make it. Like I said, there is a good chance that this thing will come all the way down, at least down to about 20, 67, 20, which brings it quite a ways down. And it could even come all the way down, but uh, at this point I would say it probably won't. Uh, but it should come down to about 67, 20 or so. So I still got more room to make some more ticks, but uh, we'll see how fast it comes down here. That'll be my decision whether I am going to go for it or not. It just seems to be inchworming its way down. It's not really acting like I wanted it to act. So at this point, I'm just going to go for the 60. Um, if it doesn't break soon, I'm going to give it another maybe 30 more minutes. If it doesn't break, I'm just going to exit. I missed another short on Twitter again, TWTR. Shorted it yesterday, shorted it today, and uh, could have just shorted it again. It's like a triple top of 32. And, um, you know, it's really difficult for me to trade stocks and trade oil at the same time. I mean, it really is. I'm f I, I thought I could do it, but I just, I just can't anymore. <laughs> I think I'm getting too old. So uh, I'm going to have to choose which one do I want to do. Do I want to trade oil? Do I want to trade stocks? It's a hard decision, except for I have so many clients in the stocks. I don't want to, I don't, I feel bad about going over to the, I mean, in, in the oil, I feel about going bad about going over to the stocks now and leaving the oil behind. So, and oil is so much easier. So I guess I'm just going to stick with the oil. I like trading stocks, but what I'm going to do is instead of day trading them, I'm just going to sort of, look for gems that I really, really like and put some money into it and, uh, you know, put, put a trade on it, put a stop on it, put, a, put an exit on it and uh, go for a, a longer term type of investment type strategy. Uh, playing charts and, and various different things, mostly charts. And um, 
do do it that way with the stocks and just leave the day trading up to the oil because it's you know it's just so much easier when you know the code like this okay I'm gonna be looking for an exit here what I'd like to see it do is come back down to right about here I'm just gonna jump out not that I don't think it's gonna go down I do but I don't want to wait for it I'm getting kind of uh, you know, uh, I don't know, I just, my, <laughs> my patience, that's, uh, I get kind of spoiled by trading, trading uh, oil. Also, it's uh, 10.54 right now here in Thailand, 10.54 p.m. P.m., it's nighttime. And it, when I trade stocks, I have to stay up till uh, 3.30 in the morning. No, no, 4, 4 in the morning. I have to stay up till 4 a.m to trade the stock market till it closes and it's really late and um, oil is much better for my time you know I'm gonna be out of this thing within well within an hour for sure so that would be 10 if it's called 11 I'd be out by 12 midnight you know and can go to sleep after that but when I trade stocks I've got to stay up for an extra four hours actually I don't really have to most of the action is in is during the is in the morning but um or, you know right when it first opens but uh i actually have a trading technique that i use that you need to wait until the end because of the way that i play it and so it's it's kind of um it, it's very late for me to stay up that late and oil is better easier and a lot of you out there it's natural for a trader to do this but a lot of you out there will like you know, like for instance, when it came back up here, you get scared and you'll get out. And you know, could have made money, but then you didn't, because then you got scared. You know, and you didn't know what it was going to do. That is why you really want to a either get my charting service and pay me three hundred dollars a month and have me do this for you, or you need to do it yourself. Because when you chart it out every day, you will know what it's going to do. Or let's put it this way, you will know what it's most likely going to do. Now it doesn't always do that, but it, but it does it most of the time so that you can profit from it most of the time. So you really, if you're going to do this, play the code two, play this one trade. There's only one trade now in oil, just one, one code two, that's it, that's all there's left. Um, but that's all you need. And if you're going to do it, you have to chart it out yourself. If you don't want to do that, then then you should have just pay me to do it because I'm doing it every day anyway. With a lot of clients for the charting, and um, I have a lot of clients because it really helps them in in this trade. And all of you out there uh, in the charting, you should all have or either already nailed this trade and are out or are still in it waiting for the exit like I am. And um, very easy trade today just taking too long okay it looks like it might go for the bottom here okay 66 is the bottom there it goes all right it should slide right down to my exit then put my finger on the exit button no just in case it doesn't I don't want to wait for it come on a little further quick little 60 ticks Anyway, um, when you know the codes, or the code, code 2, you can do this, what you're seeing me do here. And do it with a good deal of accuracy and success and be able to make money at it. That's the bottom line, right? <laughs> That's the only reason why any of us are really trading, is just to make money. And of course, I do it because I, I love the challenge, like trading stocks and stuff. This really isn't any kind of a challenge for me anymore, but the stock still is. Because I know the code, you know. I not, only know where, not only do I know where to get in, but I know where to get out. It's really quite amazing, you know. I, okay, I'm going to jump out right there. Alright, I'm out. Um, I don't know how many ticks that is, but good enough for me. And... Um, as you can see, what did it go down to? The 60? 
<laughs> came like uh, six ticks away from my exit. Funny. Oh well. Okay, so uh, I'm done. I'll be back tom uh, tomorrow. I'll do the charting. Of course, tomorrow for me is today for you if you're in the United States. <laughs> so uh, it's tonight for you, and that'll be tomorrow for me. So I'll, I will do the charting, um, and we. But I've already we already know what the code is this week so uh, we know what we're gonna take on Thursday and Friday and it should be pretty easy the rest of the week and uh, today was was pretty easy and the the um, code was perfect uh, in every way the, the, the exact code on the news entry was perfect I took it and the breakout technique was perfect because if you would taken it you would have made a good profit off of it so anyway, I am going to go. Hope your traders are doing well. I hope you charting tr charting service members have all hit this trade. You should have. And I hope all of you traders out there are being inspired by the codes and inspired by what I am doing. Uh, don't believe anybody out there that says this is a scam or this is some type of a replay or something like that. It's all nonsense, of course. And uh, everything I'm saying is all real. So anyway, I'll be back tomorrow to do some more trading. Happy trading out there, everybody.